Hi guys, welcome back to the BMW Guy YouTube channel and today we've got another video on the Kona. This is day four with the car, so I think by now I'm sort of aware of what I do and don't like. So uh, what we're going to be doing, we're going to do five things I hate about this uh, 2019 Hyundai Kona. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing um, is going to be these fake vents. So as you can see here, this vent here is completely fake, it's completely solid, there's nothing going on as is here um and it's also got this tacky annoying um reflector there as well which is a bit of an odd um oddity but uh yeah so the number one is going to be the the fake vents on this car number two we're going to take a look in the interior and um it's going to be essentially the the sparseness or the lack of stuff basically um, and as you can see it's very very boring considering the outside of this car looks so cool um we haven't got much going on in the interior it's all sort of made of uh cheap uh brittle plastics steering wheel feels nice it's like a soft touch plastic and um yeah it's all a bit as you can hear it creaking and you can see it moving there as well um and yeah it's just you can tell it's a budget car Number two, number three is going to be this, the engine in this car, and the fact that it rattles. So, hello, Bob. How are you doing? A bit camera shy today. Uh, so this engine, it's the one point, well, it's the one litre, um, three-cylinder engine, and it rattles absolutely loads. Um, I'm not sure why it is. Uh, it always feels like it's uncaged in there, to be honest. Inside the engine, it just you, you can just rattle. It just rattles constantly. It's quite a noisy engine as well. And um, yeah, it's just a bit of a faff to drive. It makes a lot of fuss about going anywhere. Moving on to number four then, guys, and we're gonna take a look in the boot of the Hyundai Kona. And I think you'll be quite surprised about how poor it actually is. Um, as you can see, we have very little in the way of boot space. Um, you definitely wouldn't be able to fit any sort of dog in here. Bob wouldn't fit in there. Um, so, that's a bit of an annoyance really but uh yeah i suppose it's just a a foible of buying a car in this section of vehicle sort of marketplace but uh yeah we'll move on to the final um issue and that is to do with the reversing camera so while we're at the back i'll just show you where it's placed or positioned uh it's right here just under the lip uh, but as you can see it's quite a filthy area of the car and it appears that all sorts of mud and crap builds up on the lens of this camera which makes it totally unusable um, in anything but perfect weather so as you can see we haven't got perfect weather it's pouring with rain and um, if we take a look at the current image of the camera um, it's quite a low resolution camera as well which is quite frustrating so if we place it in reverse the car you can see it is low resolution and we've got just crap and mud all over it um this is because i've wiped it off this morning it doesn't actually look too bad but um yeah if you if you were regularly driving this car it would get a bit annoying uh quite quickly so uh yeah that's it guys that's all i have to complain about in this car to be honest it's been a fairly fairly decent car um especially for the money that you pay for it it's um not an issue at all so uh thanks for watching guys don't forget to like comment subscribe let me know what you you sort of like and dis dislike about the car and i will see you in the next video cheers